Hey folks, Keith Gibson from Top Shot Season 4 here, introducing a new target from Reaction Targets. This is the Hurt system, the hostage rescue training system. It allows you to engage moving targets, to have only one to focus on, whether there's more hostiles in the back or friendlies up front, you can change it in every way you wish. So before we get too deep in it, let's run it, show you how cool it is, and then we'll get down into the nitty gritty. make you wait. It's going to make your officers think before they shoot. It's going to make IDPA more fun. It's going to make your backyard shooting more fun. And let's be honest, who wouldn't want a target system that challenges them in every way, every day? Let's get down into the nitty gritty of it now. All right, so let's get down into the nitty gritty of the target system. It's got four bars, all easily removable, that help it break down easily for transport and make it totally custom configuration anytime you want. We have all these different holes that are numbered so that you can make the same situations whenever you want to, and you don't have to guess at where you had the targets before. If you want to change situations, all you have to do is lift it up and place it in a new spot. They will not fall off. We've shot this in some serious wind, and they're really good. The number one thing about this for competition is that every shooter is going to have the same experience. There's two speeds you can run it on by battery, or you can manually pull it with a rope. There's also another neat little trick to this, and that's that you can hook it up to another in tandem so you can do head-to-head -head competitions. We're gonna show you that in a little bit. One of my favorite things about this is not only are you not shooting steel, but any of the steel parts that are here are way below where people are gonna be shooting. You're not gonna damage your target system by running it at a match. Also, it's weatherproof. If it rains at your match, it's not the end of the show. It's a sealed motor. You're not gonna have to worry about a little bit of rain. The pulley system in the back will let us do the rope pull, which we're gonna show you next since you've already seen it run on battery. And by the way, the battery comes with 60 foot of cord. So you can have the SO or your training officer well out of harm's way in the back, making sure everything's going exactly as planned. All right, so we talked about the rope pull a little bit. The main reason to go with the rope pull is you're gonna be able to save a couple hundred bucks. You can get it with the motor and it's all nicey nice, or you can just have fun with the rope. So it works just the same. Everything's gonna rotate the same, only the power is different. So let's see how it works. Now, of course, with this, you can decide whether or not you want it to be a slow, solid pull, or it can be a little bit faster and your buddies can mess with you out on the range. Lots of options here. So at the end of the 60 foot cord, you have the control box. You can turn it on high speed, like you saw me shooting it before for some more difficult and advanced shooting, or you can bring it down to a lower speed in case you wanna do some intermediate stuff. Believe me, it's still plenty challenging and it's gonna make you think before you pull the trigger. The other way that you can mess with people if you wanna do some more sporadic movement like you're likely to encounter in humans is you can hit the interrupter switch. The person behind the box is controlling everything. Just with a press of the button, you can change the whole situation and it becomes much more dynamic, just like in the real world. All right, so we've been teasing you with the idea of running tandems. All you need to do that is one more rack setup in this bar. No extra motor required, no extra pulley system required. It's a cheap way to double your fun. So check this out. Drop that in that hole, drop that in that hole, and we've got live power. They're gonna move at the same exact speed, doing the same exact thing, and you can keep the targets the same and have great head-to-head -head competitions, or you can change the targets up and have something that's really gonna make you have to think on your feet. Try it out, I think you're gonna like it. <laughs> 